The Honor ATX is an interesting value offering in the sub 15k segment in India, but one of the primary deciding factors these days when buying a smartphone are its cameras. This is Sandeep from Rev Atlas and here's a camera review of the Honor ATX. The rear facing camera on the ATX is a 20 megapixel f1.8 unit with a secondary 2 megapixel depth sensor. The Honor ATX takes pretty good photos when it comes to sharpness and detailing. It's not segment leading, but pretty good enough for most social media content. It does tend to have warmer colors and at times a color cast, especially if there's a cloudy scene. Dynamic range is average by default, but the HDR mode helps to a large extent by overcoming it and also giving good exposure overall. The portrait mode on the ATX is good in terms of blurring and edge detection, but the warmth often becomes too high in some scenes. This is with the aperture mode on the ATX. The portrait mode on the ATX is too subtle, so the aperture mode is what we choose most of the time. It also allows you to refocus and adjust the level of blur after taking the photo. By default, the blur is at f4 depth of field setting on the ATX, but you can choose to make it stronger or more lenient. One thing that the ATX does very well in portrait mode is that it can actually apply blur to a larger object even from much further distance. The closest end of this boat was around 6 feet away and the furthest was around 11 to 12 feet and yet it got a nice linear blur applied onto it. In low light conditions, the ATX exhibits very good color accuracy and white balance and in fact much better than in daylight shots. The ATX has a base ISO of 50 and in most situations, the ATX is soft under low light but the ATX has a party trick up its sleeve in the form of night mode. It's not as good as the night mode on the P20 Pro for instance since it's subjectable to shakes and object blurring since there is no OIS, but at least you can get a more well exposed frame albeit with higher noise levels just in case you need it. The front facing camera has 16 megapixels of resolution as well as f2 aperture. The front camera on the ATX has decent detailing and sharpness but it seems to be doing some over sharpening that leads to more noise as well as loss of fine detail. But it manages to get the color accurate and the color of my t-shirt is spot on. Dynamic range isn't too great and the lack of HDR mode is a bummer. Portrait mode is pretty good on the Honor ATX which does a good job at retaining the details and not actually softening the portion in focus. The blurring is very smooth and edge detection is good too, but the years are at times overlooked and this is a pain point. Videos are not a strong suit of the ATX. It has several video modes such as 1080p 30fps, 1080p 60 and 18.7-9 1080p 30fps video modes but none of them have EIS. The bitrate is also on the lower side and details are a bit mushy. With EIS, the ATX could have been much better as stable video really improves the quality. But since it's a software based thing, we hope that they add it through software updates. The front facing camera is better at video and gives more details and better sharpness. But here too, EIS is missing. Cameras, uh, but there's no EIS involved. But still, let me know what you guys think about the overall sharpness, the dynamic range, the stabilization without EIS and how well it's capturing my voice as well. The Honor ATX is a pretty solid device and the camera performance isn't too bad either. But if camera is your utmost priority, then I feel that there are devices better suited to meet that requirements in this particular price range. What you should be getting the ATX for is the beautiful design, build quality, screen and great battery life. Thanks for watching this video. See you again in the next one.